Trumpet thing, let's do it. So today I'm gonna do a 20 minute practice, uh, five minute warm up, and then 15 minute repertoire work. So uh, I'm just gonna hop right into it. I don't wanna waste too much time. I've got stuff to do today. So let's put five minutes on the clock and warm up starts now. We're gonna warm up with our concert E flat scale. That is the concert or the trumpet F scale. That's one flat, B flat. And F to F, B flat, here we go. Uh, I'll work, we're gonna start with our long tones. Okay, here we go. Let me try, see if I can remember. such a hard time with high notes on this thing. Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> Long times are done. Major scale. Let's run the scale. That's a terrible sound. Let's try again. Try again. I would love to be able to hold it out. Okay, moving on. Scale in thirds. Here we go. That hurts, man. Hurts my entire head. All right, chromatic scale. Easy peasy. Let's start on a uh, start on a low F. Let's do some lip slurs. I know my chromatic scale. <sighs> Just can't play it. Uh, let's do some lip slurs. So hard. So tough. 
Yeah, so the reason you do lip slurs is to make yourself sound better than that. Um, I still, I might have practiced trying it more often. Uh, I've been kind of slacking. That's okay, warm up done. I'm definitely warm now. We're gonna play Ghost in the Graveyard by Scott Watson because it is spooky season. And I'm gonna take 15 minutes, put that on the clock right now. And we're just gonna run through it. Um, it's a good tune because it's got lots of accidentals and lots of things we have to do to change the way we play. Makes you really think hard about how you're playing, not just playing the right notes. So, right at the beginning here, we have our first accidental. Uh, so we have D to E flat. Okay, so E flat, E is right here. But E flat will be two and three. Okay? So this first, this first section. Think about G sharp. G is open. G sharp will be two and three again. Okay, so here it is. Same thing. jump to the D in the divisi there, which I do because I want to practice my high notes. And then uh, we'll do that whole section again. Make sure we're watching our dynamic markings. We're going piano to forte, piano to forte. Make sure we do those uh, dynamics. They're important. They're written for a reason. Sforzando, the SFZ thing in there, that means that you suddenly and all of a sudden become loud. Okay, so here we go. Let's read that a little bit better. So now we're at 10, uh, and we've got a lot of these A, the eighth note things. We go A, 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 G sharp, G sharp, G, 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 G. Okay, so da, 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 So we're looking at. Okay, and then just follow the rhythm. Uh, yeah, let's dig right into it. Measure 10. Let's run it. One, two, measure 10, two, ready, and. F, 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 F. Right, that gets us 22. We have a nice break. Let's do that one more time. When you're playing these really short staccato sections, you want to use just the tip of your tongue. T, 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 T. It'll make it a lot easier to get those notes out and separated and clean. 14. Here we go. One, two, two, right, there we go. Okay, that's your first section at 24. Things to check out. The rhythm, it's not too hard, I just played it. Uh, da, do, da, 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 da. One and three, four, one, two, three. Uh, G sharp again, two and three, and uh, your low, low, low A at the end there at 29. Uh, then we go on, so let's do that again. 24, or 26, rather. One, two, three, Check 
take those last two measures. F E D A A D. Try again. Lost it. Wish I could get it. Okay, I need more, one more air. There it is. I'll have to work on that. 34, we've got two measures of rest, and then we have the melody in a minute at 38. Let's pick it up at this piano. It's a hard fingering to do. F, E flat, F, but otherwise it's rather simple. where it says DS Alcoda. You're gonna go back to the Del Signo sign, the uh, little sign at measure 14. Uh, it's a little swiggly S with a line through it and dots are all, all around it. Jump back to 14 when you get to DS Alcoda and you're gonna play it again until measure 34 where it says two coda. So let's play it 14. Let's go to measure 34. And one. No, I'm not going to blow it. We're going to start back at 26. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to get the whole thing. When you get to 34, you jump to the coda. Okay? It's a little bullseye. It says tempo primo. It's the same music as the beginning of the tune, so let's play that. Right. 52, 2, 3, 4, right at the writ. Here we go, 2, 4, 56. C sharp, what's C sharp? Sure, I think it's that. D, why am I, can't nail that note. Anyway, so two before the writ at 56, two before, two before 56, where so you're at the writ, Allegro non troppo, where we're at, two before that. try to hit the high notes uh you don't have to but i'm working on my high notes here so i'm gonna try to so that's the whole song we've hit every part of it we've got roughly five minutes left i'm gonna run it straight down hopefully i can get all the way through it we'll get a metronome going set my metronome to 112 i know it says to start at 108 but then you go to 112 and there's such a small difference there that i'm not gonna fool with it i'm just gonna try to play it all at 112 here we go 
One, two, one, two, there we go. Now we're at 10, you got these little railroad tracks that tell you to stop until I tell you to keep going. So here we go. One, two, ready, and one. Four, two, ready, go. Fourteen. Yeah, that 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 turning the page. Yeah, that 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 that. We get the coda, we skip to the coda. Tempo primo. Three, four. Wasn't the prettiest sound in the world, but you got through it. I got through it at least. I've definitely got a lot, uh, a lot to work on with the trumpet. I think it is one of my worst instruments right now. It doesn't make any sense, but uh, it's just where it's. I don't know. I can't get my lips in. It's they're too big, I guess. Uh, I'm struggling. But anyway, I hope that's helpful to you. You can follow along in all my videos, of course, by finding all the music on the Google Classroom. It's all on there. So if you ever get lost, it's all on there. You can look at it. And you can make a copy, draw all over it, write in your notes, do whatever you need to do to get that stuff written down. But please practice. Please don't let your musical skills die just because we've been at home for so long. Okay, it's pointless. Um, put the work in and you will be, it will be worth it when you come back and when we all get to be together again. So I will see you all next week for my next video. Uh, hope you have a good weekend. Goodbye.